All right, guys, they have updated the Leechy app to supposedly work with the Mavic Mini 1, not the 2. So we're going to uh, fire this app up and see if it actually does recognize the Mini 1. Let's check it out. Okay, so there's the camera view, so it actually does see it. So, of course, I'm not going to take off. Let me look in the settings a little bit. Now, I don't remember the Leechy app doing the compass or telling you when you needed to do that. But... I just don't remember. I don't use it that much anymore. I used to use it a lot more uh, when I had the Mavic Pro and the Mavic Air going around pretty good. But since um, the DJI Fly app came out, I don't. I've been flying these more, so I really haven't been flying the Mini or the Mavic Pro that much. So um, let's look at the. Okay, so it doesn't. It doesn't do the uh, waypoints, but uh, yeah, we're going to uh, go check this out. So it's recognizing it, so that's that's a step in the right direction right there, okay? So at least we're going there. Okay, so it recognized the button to shoot a, um, the picture. So that's good. Video settings are at uh, 2K, 2.7K. All right. Recognizes where I'm at. Sees the map right there. Okay. So let's just uh, go out and test a couple of these features on here. All right, guys. I'm out here with the Mini. There it is. The legend. The all-time legend. The Mavic Mini. And we are going to try out the uh, Leechy app because they finally released the uh, final version, but it's not final. Okay, they don't have the waypoints in yet, but we're going to try, you know, the holy grail of uh, of features for the Mini, which is <laughs> the follow me. Something that everybody's wanted on this thing. They devised all those little workarounds, you know, to try to get some kind of follow me in there, which... I mean, to me, I don't really care about follow me, to be honest. I mean, I never use it to do what? Who wants to follow me around, right? But anyway, I think I'm going to try that one first, the follow me feature. So we're going to see if that works. Now, I'm not going to go real far because I, you know, I just got to get the feel and see how this thing's going to act, you know. <clears throat> I mean, I don't know, you know. I mean, the beta testers, they haven't reported too many issues with it. So, I mean, I'm sure it'll be all right, but I'm just going to fly around the park here a little bit just to see how it acts, you know, just to get a little break in on it. Compass calibration first. The hold point has been set. Please check it on the map. Hold the aircraft horizontally and rotate at 360 degrees. Okay. So that's that. Let's start some video up. You get all of those warnings from Leechy when that happens. Okay, so there we go. We are off, off and running. Just fly it around here for a minute. I'm in the sun, of course. Looks good so far. And I'm gonna get out of this glare and I'm gonna turn around and put the, the mini in the glare. Let the mini deal with that.
Okay, so let's do uh, follow. On 32. I don't need that. Altitude. Okay, I guess I'll just do that. Okay. Okay. Okay, so... It's working like a champ, but kind of surprising when it flew directly above me, but I guess that's what it's doing here. It's flying right above you, and then you just set those parameters. But on this one, you know, it, it allows you to um, move the gimbal around, which the DJI app doesn't let you do. Or it doesn't let you go up or down with the quadcopter either when there's orbits. So this is actually working really well. And you can set that height there in that menu. You saw that menu when I pulled it up. It lets you set that height and how, how the distance. So I got it set at 32 on each, 32 feet high and 32 feet distance. I think it was something like that, 32. So that's actually working quite, quite well. So I'm going to stop that. So we're going to go back to the FPV mode. Okay. So that worked great. Really nice. Okay. So the holy grail of features that people wanted with the Mini. The holy grail of features people wanted works great. All right, so that's good. Okay, so let's uh, try the orbit. Oh, here it goes. Okay, altitude 117, radius. I'm gonna shorten the radius here a little bit. Then I'm going to start it right there. So it's doing it. Oh yeah, it's working like a champ. And then you can see it here on the map as it's doing it there. See that? That's nice. I like that. That leech has some nice features like that where it shows you that stuff on the map. That's great. And there it is there, you can see it, just moseying along. Great stuff. There's me, strong wind, okay, yeah, I got you, I better stop that. I guess they have the wind warnings for this too. Okay, let me bring it down some. Yep, and then the wind warning stops as soon as I lowered the altitude. Because you know the wind's up to five, six miles an hour higher up there, so. All right, guys. So, uh-oh, look, I got company up there. There's one of those those monster buzzards. I see him. Oh yeah, he's he's looking. 
He's looking. He's circling. See if you can catch him with the GoPro up there. He's over there. He's looking around. Let me go over there a little bit. See if I can entice him to come over a little bit. I'll go up a little higher. He's up there. He's up there about, I think, 100 feet higher than the mini, to be honest. He's getting a little closer, though. Oh, yeah, now he's coming right over top of it. I'm coming down. Screw him. Not losing my mini. I'm not losing my mini for that fool. But you know those hawks, they're big enough. They'll come right down here and they'll, they'll snatch this sucker right out of your hand. These things don't play around. They're all business. They're looking for chow, okay? Oh yeah, there's the mini, the king mini. I'm going back up to those falls tomorrow. I found another spot up there. I'm going to be heading on up. Yeah. Okay, so orbit's working like a champ. What other features we got? We're not going to have enough time to do any of these other ones today. So we're just chill it out because I'm getting cold and already been recording for 12 minutes anyway. So. And then that's one thing I don't know about the Lee. I think the Leechy app, you have to land the quad yourself. There is no, there is no uh, land button on these things from what I understand. All the time I've messed with it, I always had to land everything manually. <laughs> so I'll find me a nice little spot here in the grass. I didn't do no lawn mowing. They're all over that way. All right, guys, there you go, Mini. Mini with lychee. Fantastic flight, works like a champ. I know Ken uh, didn't have any trouble with it from what I remember, but uh, they haven't put the waypoints in yet, so they should get that in there. Then after they get that in there, it should be great. Then you can do a little um, autonomous flying around. All right, have a nice day, guys. I'll talk to you later.